Hey, good morning, everybody. This is First Warren Storm Team Chief Meteorologist Brad Penn. We're at 1.13 in the morning. Uh, we've got some new development along the cold front moving through Tennessee, Virginia, and heading towards the North Carolina border. A couple areas of concern. We've got one warning up here near Lynchburg, but it's this cell moving into eastern Tennessee between Bristol and Mountain City. We've got a couple little notches in this line which likely could produce a tornado with a little or no warning. If I look at the radar out of this area, you can see uh, near basically Kingsport, we got a little circulation, and then it's in the kind of a bad spot here, but right around Mountain City, uh, there's a little circulation. You can actually see that little knob right there heading towards Mountain City. This eventually is going to move into northern Ash County, so Lansing, Jefferson City, Mountain City, these areas should probably start thinking about maybe heading to a safe spot as that that little cell moves in. We'll have to keep an eye on the cell back to the west. That may move closer to Watauga County as we go into the evening hours. So or into the morning hours now that we're into the early morning hours. So a little concerned about this line. The reason it's firing back up is this is the actual cold front back here. And if you look at the STP or that significant tornado parameter, there's it's not high. It's in the one to twos across North Carolina, but that tells me there's still some energy left. And when you look at the um, moist, unstable cape, there's still you know a couple hundred to a thousand uh, joules per kilogram. There's still some energy in the atmosphere here. Uh, for storms to keep going well into the overnight hours. This is the shear, uh, pretty strong east of the mountains, so still concerned we could see some strong uh, thunderstorms, maybe even rotating thunderstorms developing out here uh, east of the mountains as we go into the early morning hours. So keeping an eye on it right now, if anything should change, we'll be cutting in. We're running crawls if we get the warnings that break out, especially in the mountains through the overnight hours. And of course, we have updates on Facebook, Twitter, and WCNC.com.